Hello, you. Have you ever had those days where you just want to hide from the world? I have. When we first moved to Germany, sometimes it was tough because I couldn't be understood. I didn't speak the language. I got lost a lot. And what we would do on days when it was really difficult is we would go home and shut the shades and spend time with Jack. Jack Bauer. The man who can save the world like a hundred times in 24 hours. And I started thinking as we were talking last time about governments and what we expect from our governments. It's interesting to see the things that we also expect from our heroes. And what makes Jack Bauer a hero? Well, one of the reasons I think that we like to look to him as a hero and we look to Jason Bourne and John McClane and Liam Neeson and anything he's in is that we want to see the bad guys caught. We want to see the good guys give whatever it takes, push until the end at whatever personal cost to themselves to catch the bad guy and make them pay. And it seems that justice is something that's very important to us as a society because oftentimes the stories that a society tells reflects the values of those within the society. And if you look at the what the number one and number two longest running non-animated scripted TV shows are both crime dramas, CSI and um, Law and & Order. And why is it that we love these shows? Well, again, it's the idea that someone will not give up, that will, they will keep chasing the clues, they will keep pushing, they will keep going at whatever personal cost to make sure that someone who has done something wrong pays for it, that the bad guy is caught, that the bad guy is put into jail, that the bad guy pays for what they've done. And it's interesting to see that just as we expect certain things out of our governments, that they support freedom, that they support equality, that they support justice, Justice is also something that we live out vicariously through watching the shows that we watch, watching the movies that we watch. What is it that we want to wish that we ourselves could do? We want to catch the bad guys. We want to make them pay. Um, we want to know that wrongs have been righted. We want to know that there are people who will stand up and say enough is enough. We will not allow these bad things to, to continue. Well, again, where, where do those standards come from? what makes a good guy and what makes a bad guy. You can see that a lot of times they look the same. They are doing a lot of the same things, shooting things up and running over things with cars. Um, the difference is in their intention, um, that the intention of the criminal is to wound or to be selfish or to hurt or to do whatever is going to benefit themselves and they don't care about anyone else. And in the good guy, you see that whoever it is, is doing what they're doing so that people can be safe, people can be protected, people, the bad guy will pay for what they've done to hurt others. And it's interesting because you can see that even the opinion of the audience changes a little bit if the attitude of the criminal changes a little bit. If the criminal realizes what they've done is wrong and has a change of heart and tries to make amends for what they've done, the opinion of the audience shifts a little. You, you start to like them a little bit, um, even though you hadn't to begin with. And it's interesting because all of these things are related to the character's intentions, not necessarily their actions. And so if we lived in a world where only our actions mattered, then really people's intentions shouldn't be able to influence our opinion of them, and yet they do. Why do we judge people on their intentions? Are their intentions to be good guys? Are their intentions to be bad guys? Um, Jack Bauer leaves a lot <laughs> of, uh, of terror you know, in his wake, but, but we know that he means well, and so we keep watching him, and so we keep rooting for him. Um, so it's just an interesting take on what is it about our, what we believe um, that we see reflected in the stories that we love and the stories that we watch and the stories that we spend time um, with those characters. Why do we like particular characters? Why are they our heroes? Um, just something new to think about. Um, we'll cover more later. I hope you've had a great week and I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.